Hi, I'm Mike Murphy, and welcome to The Short, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, tiny benchmarks for large language models. Across the tech world, benchmarks are standardized tests that let you know how well one piece of technology stacks up to its competitors. In AI, benchmarks can measure how well a model completes tasks, like summarizing documents or coming up with answers to complex questions. The model can then be compared on the leaderboard for that benchmark. But as models have gotten increasingly complex, testing them has become a computational drag. For example, testing a model on the popular Helm benchmark can take over a day and cost $10,000. IBM researchers out of Israel found a way to benchmark models faster and cheaper. If Helm is the SAT test, their tiny benchmark is a pop quiz. By asking questions that are representative of the entire test, researchers found they could be 98% as accurate with a test that's 1% the size of Helm. Now, if they could do that for the actual SAT, I bet a lot of students would be really happy. Next, how automation is being upended by generative AI. Much of the work that happens in the average office is important, but a bit tedious. You're filing expense reports, collating PDFs, searching for something you read a week ago but can't find now, completing the TPS reports that your boss asked for. Over the years, automation has taken a huge bite out of a lot of the repetitive tasks that happen in any workplace. But as we saw at this year's Think Conference, generative AI is poised to take things to another level. We're seeing new tools to generate code, diagnose and fix IT problems, create chatbots that can interact with employees or customers, all possible with new generative AI models like IBM's own Granite models. But I promise you, I still wrote the script for this episode. Or did I? And in case you missed it, we're remembering the life and work of Bob Denard. There are few individuals who have left a greater impact on IBM research than Bob Denard, who passed away in April at the age of 91. He worked for IBM for more than 50 years and is best known as the inventor of the Dynamic Random Access Memory, or DRAM, chip. Without DRAM, there is no modern semiconductor, and the world looks a lot different, a lot slower, and a lot less connected. That's what IBM Research Director Dario Gill said at a memorial for Denard that recently took place in our lab in Yorktown. He laid the genetic code for what we consider the DNA of today's IBM researcher, Gill said. He was brilliant. He was restless. He was passionate, he said. And without his work, it's very likely that you wouldn't be watching this video on your machine right now. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time.